smells. Once they leave, can we go up to where they play? They're on the edge of the trail right there. They're all right there. Holy cow. Hello and good morning everyone! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what are we doing right now? Having a tea party. We are having a tea party, you guys. We are going to start this day off with a wee bit of tea. <laughs> you drink with your pinky up. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. What are we having for tea here? Is this a spot of tea? <laughs> what have you got here? Oh, this is mine. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Pinkies up. Do you know how to do it? Do it with your pinky up. So you grip it with all the fingers and then pinky up. I know, I know. I actually don't know if that's the correct way, but ooh, usually you don't chug it. There is a little bit of etiquette to this. I don't think you're supposed to just throw it back. Can you make those faces too? <laughs> okay, we really should go to a real tea party. Yeah. They have a real tea party here that we should go to. Can we really? You guys, give this video a thumbs up if you want me to take Hazy to a real tea party. They have tea downtown at the Grand America, which ah! is whoopsie doodle, which is where we stay for Thanksgiving. They have a real tea party that you can go and they do like little sandwiches and do the whole experience and it's so cute. So you guys, oh, no. give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do that with Hazy because I think it's gonna be really fun. Are you having a good day so far? Yeah, I just dropped. Oh dear. <laughs> Today has started out pretty awesome. It's even better right now because I'm having a tea party. Oh dude, like it. <laughs> <laughs> you look at that as a face smoothie. A smoothie? No. <laughs> Today started off probably the best way possible. I went and did my class this morning. Yesterday we found a guy to fix this part of our wall. I started, I tried, I just can't. I just can't right now. He has come and done the first layer. He says it's gonna take a couple. We're really excited that this is underway. The only problem is he doesn't paint. So I'm going to have to paint. That will hopefully get finished up real soon. Hazy has music today, so I'm gonna take her to music here in a little bit. And the fun part about that is it's right by Stephanie's house. And so I get to go hang out with Stephanie today. After our tea party that we're gonna have, we get to go to music. Well, this is where you get the water, huh? You Sorry. don't even spill. Pour it into. Good job. I want your cookies. Bong, bong, bong. Oh boy. You guys, it is time. It is time to change the wreath. Oh. I finally, finally switched things out. I took down the trees. That means I threw away my beautiful wreath that I made. We're gonna hang this guy back up here. I'm all centered. After I had my really pretty wreath, this one just does not quite do the job. What do you do? Yeah, just does not look as pretty, but you know what? It's gonna be great. Don't know why, but I hadn't taken down the trees and they say like candy cane lane or something. And then I had those really, really pretty lanterns that I got right here. Hadn't taken them down, but I finally did today. Felt like time. Also, we probably need to add to the list getting this door treated. You can see like down here, it has a lot of spots that it needs to be fixed. And then need to do this banister. But you know, with how overwhelming the last few days have been, we're gonna do one project at a time. And after the kitchen, we are going to be doing Madison's room. We've already started on that. You guys have probably seen a few little things about that. There's a lot more to be done down there. So we're gonna finish the kitchen, do Maddie's room, take a break. That's the plan because we're gonna be going to Disney World. All right, Miss Hazy, are you ready to go to music? Okay, we did your music homework. Let's get ready to go. I haven't finished all my kids so far. The gentleman who's been working on these walls just left and he's gonna come back tomorrow to do like a one last final sanding of this. Just let this dry, but he's got two coats on here. It's looking very smooth, very nice. And we just gotta paint over it to make it match, but the wall is pretty much back to flat and normal and fantastic. Turns out he's gonna come tomorrow at 8 a.m. to finish this off to do that last layer of sanding. We just got confirmation that also the cabinet guys are coming at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So it's gonna be a busy day in the Bingham house tomorrow morning. They're gonna be painting these cabinets, taking these doors 
off for like four or five days. You guys are gonna get to see what's inside here as we vlog in the kitchen for the next few days. But they're gonna take these doors off, take them back to their shop, paint them again. And then tomorrow here in house, they're gonna be painting the actual cabinets themselves too. I don't know, if we've, I think we've talked about this, about the yellow, right? Uh, maybe a little. I don't know how much we've talked about this in the past, but it's kind of hard to see in the camera, but it's very obvious in real life. It's just very yellow everywhere where there has been heat coming from the microwave and the stove. And so now that the entire kitchen is white, it very much highlights how yellow it's turned. So we're just getting that repainted white so that everything can look nice and clean and bright. We don't have that yellow stain over there. So that's happening tomorrow, 8 a.m. That's happening tomorrow, 8 a.m. A lot of great things going down. And then tonight, Papa Bob is coming to swap this out for this little gem right here. Excited to show you guys that. So a lot of fun things going down today and tomorrow as we continue to move forward to completing this kitchen project. was good enough that we could go out for a little ride today. So we are exploring some of the golfing trails, golf cart trails that are not being used obviously in the winter, but just up at the top of one of these, if we can get one that's not snow covered, how far up can we go? I don't feel like this is the one, dude. I feel like it's over there. We'll see. There are all the bighorn sheep just kind of hanging out literally on the trail right now. I can see them just through here with the GoPro wide angle lens. It'll be hard for you guys to see them. We're gonna see if we can take a little ride up and over this ridge. See if we can go get near them. They run away as soon as you get close. We're gonna go explore. So crazy close. They are just right there. you guys we made it we came to the top of this hill right here if we go down we're gonna have to go all the way out and around and up to meet up with them again but they're just right there you can see them all gathered right there they're actually quite close and every single one of them is staring at us to see what our moves are gonna be all right you guys we're going in for a closer look but Brex has rollerblades on so he's hiking on my back up the mountain here creepy dude's gonna show us the way oh don't fall down here i'm gonna tight to my neck or something I don't want to try and get closer, but I think we'll scare them off because we're not very quiet. Okay, guys, I'm not kidding you. This whole time we've been trying to sneak up on them. Now it looks like they're sneaking up on us. They're kind of quietly as a bunch coming this way. So I think the kids want to take off just in case they start storming us. I'm pretty sure if we got close, they would just run away. There's one right there. Right now, they are working their way up this trail towards us. They can smell us. Once they leave, can we go up to where they play? They're on the edge of the trail right there. They're all right there. Holy cow. See you guys. Bye. Got it? They have head off of this trail and this golf course and they're taking a single file line up the mountain right there. Such a cool sight, so cool to come out here in our own backyard to go be that close to nature, to wildlife, true wildlife like that. And then be able to just take it in with this epic sunset behind us. It's all hanging out together on our rollerblades, one wheel and mini rocker. All the tools you need to go out and spend an evening with some big horn sheep. Watch out for all the poo. <laughs> hey, that's mom! <laughs> oh, we're right guy! Woo! Dad just went out on a ride with the kids. I just went and picked up Ryler and I ran to Walmart first, but Ryler went to the temple after school with one of his friends. And I just think that is so cool that he went and did that with one of his friends after school. Like that's what he chose to do. Such a good boy, such a good big brother, kind of awesome. Before I went to go pick him up, I did go to Walmart. I just had a few things that I needed to pick up. Nothing like super important, but I had to tell you guys, I got a steal of a deal today. In our clearance section, I found this. I found these really cute, they're just like these plastic bowls, like really great cereal bowls, plates, cups. Look how much they were for one they were 40 cents these were all 40 cents a piece so you guys if you need plastic bowls and plates and all that stuff check your Walmart clearance because these were like a crazy good deal so I bought a set of 12 for everything it cost me $18 for an entire 12 place setting which just be fun for summer I honestly use these kind of plates all the time steal of a deal at Walmart my parents are coming over tonight I'm gonna just make a simple dinner tonight I bought those chicken skewers from Costco and I don't know what we're gonna put on I'm like what kind of sauce or anything but they have these really yummy chicken skewers that I bought 
up. We've tried them once before and I really like them. They're Mediterranean. I'll probably cook up some rice with them, maybe some corn, just have a really simple dinner. But I love those kind of meals from Costco because they're just like made so quickly. It's just so great. It's nice to have a full working kitchen again too. We just got back from the craziest, most epic adventure. We took off on our one wheel, the mini rocker and roller blades. And we were just gonna do a quick little lap around the block, maybe hit up the neighborhood. And through the backyard of one of the neighbors, we saw the bighorn sheep and a golf cart path that led right up to it. So we thought, you know what? Let's just go head that direction and see what happens. I wish I would have known we were gonna do that. I would have brought this vlog camera to get you some much more incredible footage. It's kind of ironic that I had all of that drone footage from earlier today of those same bighorn sheep. But what a fun adventure to adventure off with the kids. You start out going around the block, you end up in the mountains of bighorn sheep. I mean, tell me how rad is that to live that close to wildlife, that close to nature. What a fun activity that was. I'm gonna go for another quick little ride with Rag Guy right now because he is back. Mom's getting dinner ready and then we'll be back here in a minute to eat and to set up some new lighting in the kitchen. I put this poll on Instagram, but I'm a little bit curious to know what you would do. I went to the gas station today after school with the kids. I was like, I'm not really feeling a soda. So I picked up a Propel. I love to drink Propels, the kiwi, strawberry, peach, berry. I love all the flavors. But this time they had a strawberry lemonade. And I've never, ever seen that flavor. And I was like so excited that I grabbed it and I was excited to try it. And I get home and I went to go open it and it just popped right open. And I was like, hey, I feel like there's normally like a little thing right here that keeps it sealed for safety. Well, there wasn't one. So I put a poll on Instagram. I was like, should I drink it or not? Because it was like 50-50 and I was like, should I chance it? What if someone put something in it? No. Well, who cares? I'm just gonna do it. No. But I just really want to try it. No. I just put on Instagram. I'm not gonna drink it. I didn't try it. I really want to. I'm really frustrated. You can bet I'm gonna go back there tomorrow and get one. I'm going super simple dinner tonight. Can you smell it? Yeah, I know you can, huh? You want some? No? Yes? Costco chicken kebab, you guys, they're so yummy. They're literally already cooked, you just have to warm them up. You can do it in the microwave, you can do it on the stove, you can do it on the grill. And once again, we're having leftover mac and cheese that we still have, and then I did make some rice. Super simple dinner that took me little to no effort. I love those kind of meals. Are you liking your dinner? Yeah, okay. Are you feeding your doggy? Mm -hmm. Good girl. Bonnie and Papa got here and they're gonna change out the light. I think it'll still hang, Brandon. Papa That's just scary. needs Brandon wow, for the muscles. The thing you didn't know, Bees, you have to stand there for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing it cool. Take your time, Dad. I'm playing it cool. Oh, come on, that's true. Holy cow. All right, we've lost power. Dad's just decided to rest it on his head. <laughs> I want to wait this after. All right, she's down. Yeah, that rock is heavy. That thing is heavy. This little guy is going to be a lot lighter. Papa Bob has left. We've got the new chandelier hanging. We've got most of the closet door in downstairs in the basement. So many things coming along. I will say that this is a little dimmer than we were hoping. Something that I often hear Mindy say ever since we got married. Pretty dimmer than you'd hope for. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we're looking at some brighter bulbs and things like that. Some ways to brighten it up, but things are coming along nicely. We've got the cabinet doors being painted. This is going to get fixed. And then we've got some custom shelving going in this weekend right there. This whole thing's going to be wrapping up very soon. So we're super stoked <clears> about that. <throat> it turns out today is actually National Plan a Vacation Day. We just decided to sit down at the computer and plan like a vacation or six or seven. We've got a lot this guys, year, guys. We've got a lot of really you fun better ones. buckle up. <laughs> They're going to be so much fun. And our most favorite part always is taking you guys with us. Like every time we sit down to plan something, we're just like, what is going to be amazing to share with you guys. What's going to be so fun for you guys to experience. Awesome. So we cannot wait. Some of these are just off the charts amazing. From oh. now until I think October, we have something every single month. Did you hear that? That's legit. That's for real. And then Stay November, tuned. December, I don't know. We might do something there too. We love you. Come back tomorrow. It's going to yeah. be fantastic. There's always something crazy and fun going on at Bingham House. Love you so much. Thanks for hanging with us and we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Testing out the new ring light. Test, test. How does my face look? It's so bright. I can't even tell. But if I look here, I can see a little bit. Ha 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 